Welcome back to Auto Drive, the channel where advanced machines, powerful engineering, and the future of mobility come together. On Auto Drive, we don't just talk about cars, aircraft, or ships, we break down their technology, performance, and real world impact in a way that is easy to understand and exciting to watch. Today's video is special because we are diving deep into a next generation naval powerhouse, the 2026 Asturias Spain warship. If you love military technology, naval engineering, and detailed reviews, you are in the right place. Let's begin our full review, covering design philosophy, specifications, onboard systems, combat features, propulsion, sensors, crew comfort, and why the Asturias-class warship represents a major leap forward for Spain's naval strength. The 2026 Asturias warship is designed as a modern multi-role surface combatant, reflecting Spain's growing focus on maritime security, NATO interoperability, and high-tech naval warfare. From the very first glance, the Asturias shows a strong emphasis on stealth and survivability. Its hull and superstructure are shaped with angular lines and radar-deflecting surfaces, reducing radar cross-section significantly compared to older Spanish frigates. The overall silhouette is clean and aggressive, with integrated masts, enclosed sensors, and minimal exposed equipment. This design not only improves stealth but also reduces maintenance requirements and increases durability in harsh sea conditions. In terms of size, the Asturias warship sits comfortably in the modern frigate destroyer category. It is estimated to have a length of around 145 to 150 meters, a beam of approximately 18 to 20 meters, and a full load displacement of roughly 6,500 to 7,000 tons. These dimensions give it excellent stability in open ocean operations while providing enough internal volume for advanced weapons, sensors, and crew facilities. The hull is reinforced for long deployments, making it suitable for both Mediterranean patrols and extended missions in the Atlantic or beyond. Propulsion is one of the strongest aspects of the 2026 Asturias. The ship uses a hybrid propulsion system combining gas turbines and diesel engines, often referred to as CODAG or CODLAG depending on final configuration. This setup allows the warship to switch between fuel-efficient cruising and high-speed combat operations. Maximum speed is expected to exceed 28 knots, while cruising range can go beyond 5,000 nautical miles at economical speed. This means the Asturias can stay at sea for weeks without resupply, a crucial capability for modern naval operations. Advanced noise reduction technology in the propulsion system also enhances anti-submarine performance by minimizing acoustic signatures. The electrical power generation onboard the Asturias is equally impressive. With integrated electric systems and high-capacity generators, the ship is prepared for energy-intensive systems such as advanced radar arrays, electronic warfare suites, and potential future upgrades like directed energy weapons. This future-proofing approach ensures the warship remains relevant well into the 2040s. When it comes to weapons, the 2026 Asturias is built to dominate across multiple combat domains. At the heart of its offensive and defensive firepower is a vertical launch system located forward of the superstructure. This VLS can carry a mix of surface-to-air missiles, anti-ship missiles, and potentially land-attack cruise missiles. Depending on mission requirements, the ship can be configured for area air defense, fleet protection, or strike operations. The flexibility of this missile system is one of the ASTURIAS's greatest strengths. For close-range defense, the warship is equipped with a modern close-in weapon system capable of intercepting incoming missiles, drones, and fast attack craft. This system operates automatically, using radar and electro-optical tracking to respond in seconds to threats. In addition, multiple remote-controlled gun stations are mounted around the ship, providing 360-degree coverage against asymmetric threats such as small boats. The main gun, likely a 76mm or 127mm naval gun depending on final variant, is mounted on the bow. This gun supports surface engagements, coastal bombardment, and air defense roles. With advanced fire control systems, it can engage targets with high accuracy even in rough sea states. The ammunition options include guided rounds, increasing effective range and precision. Anti-submarine warfare capabilities are a major focus of the Asturias design. The ship is equipped with a hull-mounted sonar and a towed array sonar system, giving it the ability to detect submarines at both short and long ranges. Torpedo launchers mounted on the sides of the ship allow it to engage hostile submarines quickly. Combined with low acoustic signature propulsion, the Asturias becomes a formidable submarine hunter. 
Aviation facilities further enhance its operational flexibility. The warship includes a full-length flight deck and enclosed hangar capable of operating medium-sized naval helicopters. These helicopters can perform anti-submarine, search and rescue, and surveillance missions. Unmanned aerial vehicles are also part of the Asturias concept, allowing extended reconnaissance without risking crewed aircraft. Sensor and radar systems on the 2026 Asturias represent the cutting edge of naval technology. The ship is expected to feature a multi-function active electronically scanned array radar integrated into the mast. This radar provides long-range air and surface detection, missile guidance, and target tracking simultaneously. Combined with infrared search and track systems, the Asturias can detect stealthier low-flying threats that traditional radar might miss. Electronic warfare is another critical area where the Asturias excels. The ship carries advanced electronic support measures to detect enemy radar and communications, as well as electronic countermeasures to jam or deceive hostile systems. Decoy launchers provide additional protection against incoming missiles, creating false targets and reducing the chance of a successful hit. All of these sensors and weapons are managed through an advanced combat management system. This digital brain integrates data from every sensor on board and from external sources such as allied ships, aircraft, and satellites. The result is a comprehensive real-time picture of the battlefield. The system can prioritize threats, recommend responses, and even automate certain defensive actions, reducing crew workload and reaction time. Crew comfort and efficiency have also been significantly improved in the Asturias design. Despite its heavy armament and complex systems, the ship is designed to operate with a reduced crew compared to older vessels. Automation plays a key role here, lowering manpower requirements while maintaining high operational readiness. Crew accommodations are more spacious, with improved living quarters, modern medical facilities, and better climate control. These improvements are vital for long deployments and overall crew morale. From a strategic perspective, the 2026 Asturias warship strengthens Spain's role within NATO and international maritime security operations. Its interoperability with allied systems allows it to participate seamlessly in joint task forces. Whether escorting aircraft carriers, conducting anti-piracy patrols, or responding to humanitarian crises, the Asturias is built to adapt to a wide range of missions. Another important aspect is, sustainability and environmental performance. The propulsion system is designed to be more fuel-efficient and compliant with modern environmental standards. Waste management, emissions control, and energy efficiency have all been improved, reflecting the growing importance of environmentally responsible military operations. In real-world operational scenarios, the Asturias would likely serve as a flagship for naval task groups. Its balanced combination of firepower, sensors, and endurance makes it suitable for both high-intensity conflict and peacetime presence missions. The ability to upgrade systems over time ensures that the ship can evolve alongside emerging threats and technologies. When compared to other modern European warships, the Asturias stands out for its balance. It may not be the largest or most heavily armed vessel in the region, but its versatility, advanced electronics, and future-ready design make it one of the most effective platforms in its class. Spain has clearly focused on creating a warship that offers maximum value, operational flexibility, and long-term relevance. As we look toward the future of naval warfare, ships like the 2026 Asturias highlight the shift toward integrated systems, network-centric operations, and multi-role capabilities. This warship is not just a tool of combat but a mobile command center, surveillance platform, and symbol of national capability. For naval enthusiasts and defense analysts alike, the Asturias represents an exciting glimpse into the next generation of surface combatants. That brings us to the end of today's in-depth review of the 2026 Asturias Spain warship here on Auto Drive. If you enjoyed this detailed breakdown of specs, features, and real-world capabilities, make sure you support the channel by subscribing, liking the video, and sharing it with others who love advanced machines and military technology. Your subscription helps Auto Drive bring you more powerful reviews, future tech insights, and next-level engineering content. Stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video.